ever wondered how you can play 3DS games with RetroArch? Citra, of course. RetroArch provides access to this excellent emulator core. Citra has already established itself as the best Nintendo 3DS emulator around, and now you can also enjoy 3DS games via RetroArch thanks to this emulator core. Before you follow this guide, be sure to already have done the following. Install RetroArch. Have at least one 3DS game ROM ready to test. Connect your controller to the system. One of my favourites at the moment is the 8-bit Doe Pro 2, which is an excellent all-round controller and works especially well with RetroArch. I'll leave a link in the description for you to check out. Your system will also need to have OpenGL version 3.3 or higher installed. Simply ensure that you have the latest drivers for your GPU installed and this should be fine. So as long as you're not using fairly old hardware. Another point to note is that the Citra Core is not currently available for the macOS version of RetroArch. So the first step is to boot up RetroArch and download the Citra Core. Simply start up RetroArch, select Load Core, and then scroll down and select Download a Core. Next, scroll down the core downloader list until you get to Nintendo 3DS Citra. Select this and the core will begin to install. If RetroArch is already installed on your system, head back to the main menu, scroll down to Online Updater, and then select Update Core Info Files and Update Databases. This will perform an update so all the key files and databases are updated, ensuring any possible issues that could occur with not having the latest files installed are reduced. We're now ready to load our first 3DS game in RetroArch using the Citra Core. With no additional setup steps required, it really is one of the easier cores for basic setup. Next, you'll need to go back to the main menu and select Load Content. Then go to where you store your 3DS ROMs and select the game you wish to play. The game will now boot and you'll be ready to play 3DS games in RetroArch using the Citra Core. The Citra Core also has lots of settings to help get your 3DS experience refined to your requirements. There are a wealth of options for you to experiment with, including hardware shaders, custom textures, upscaling resolution up to 10 times, changing your 3DS screen layout from top to bottom or side by side, and options to use your controller analog stick or mouse for 3DS touchscreen functionality. One quick tip to get your 3DS games looking all nice and upscaled. To do this, press F1 to view the quick menu, scroll down and select core options, then scroll down and select resolution scale factor. You can now increase the internal resolution up to 10 times. I'd suggest selecting the maximum setting, then work backwards, reducing it if you experience performance issues. Citra is an excellent emulator core for RetroArch, but it's still quite young in its development, so expectations around compatibility should be managed accordingly. Currently over 300 games run either great or perfect according to Citra's own game compatibility list, but you may experience some issues with other games still. But compatibility will only ever get better with the development of the Citra Core, so stick with it. Thanks for watching this guide. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and to check out howtoretro.com for more RetroArch and emulation guides. Thanks again, see you soon.